This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So back in April, our YouTube channel surpassed 100,000 subscribers. Oh! <laughs> and it's taken a few months, well, seven to be exact, for our Silver Creator Award to arrive, but we're very happy to say, it's finally here! However, while we were waiting around for it to arrive, we've now actually passed 150,000 subscribers. So to celebrate this milestone that you wonderful people have given us, we're gonna be making our own version, of course, out of recycled plastic. We're actually gonna try something we haven't done before with this one, and that's to inlay one color of HDPE inside another. No idea if it's gonna work, but let's give it a go. So to kick things off, we're firing up our trusty old panini press to cook up a lovely fresh batch of red. Since we're making a play button, we want to go for some classic YouTube colours. But because we're using red, we don't want to add any white to this, otherwise it might turn pink. Instead, we're going to add a little bit of black, not too much, because a little goes quite a long way. If you've seen any of our other videos, you'll probably recognise this process. Essentially, we're adding a layer of bottle tops face up into the press, and then once that layer is melted, we add another layer on top of that. We don't need too much plastic for this small project, so we don't need to use our oven as it all fits quite nicely in the press. Once the red and black is ready, it's time to marble those two colours together. A few folds and twists will work perfectly to help squeeze out any of those air bubbles. We're reusing a mould that we made in our HDPE cake knife video, so go check that one out if you want to see how we put this together. Once the plastic comes off the heat, it starts cooling instantly, so there's a race against the clock to get it into that press. Our DIY bottle jack press is perfect for putting a load of pressure on really quickly, so we don't have to be faffing around with clamps. We also have a video on that if you want to make your own. Whenever possible, we like to leave our HDP to cool overnight under pressure. If it comes out of the press too quickly, you'll risk the plastic warping with the residual heat. Once it comes out of the press, it has some excess that needs trimming off before it gets run through our thickness planer. As always, we're collecting all of those shavings created by this process to use in future projects. We're passing the slab through our Triton thicknesser a few times to get it nice and flat. The thicknesser takes the top layer of plastic off and it's one of our favourite steps because it's the first time you get to see the marbling. We're getting some big Star Wars Phantom Menace vibes off this one. Next up, we need to cut out the triangle in the center of the play button. To do this, we need a template, and we figured, why not use the real thing? After cutting the triangle out, we can line up our template on the red and black slab in the position that we like and mark it on. We 
We're getting rid of the bulk of the material here just by drilling it out before coming back with a mallet and chisel to tidy up those edges. Now what we could do is repeat that whole process again, cut out a little triangle to match and fit it in that gap. But since we have an injection molding machine, we figured why not try and inject plastic straight into that cavity. Of course, if you don't have an injection molding machine, just repeat the process from earlier and choose a different color. We're taking one of the molds that we use for our turtle key rings that we sell over on our website, removing that middle plate and then clamping the top and bottom either side of our red and black slab. So then we fired up our injection molder and whilst it's heating up we've mixed up some white and silver plastic and loaded it into the hopper. Nine minutes later, we clamped the mold in place and then turned the handle to inject the plastic. We made sure to hold that handle down to try and keep some of that pressure on and reduce the amount of shrinkage. After demolding, you can still see a little bit of shrinkage, but it's nothing we can't fix later on. We've passed this over our surface planer just to flatten it off again, and this also shows us any gaps that we need to then go back and fill using our trusty heat gun. We also took this opportunity to go back and fill the gap that was made earlier when that white plastic shrinked a little bit. To get this looking a little bit more like a play button, we figured we'd use our template to mark out the shape and then we cut it out on our scroll saw. Then it's just onto the final shaping and polishing. We've got the last few touches to make to really finish this thing off and make it look awesome. But before we do that and show you the final piece, we want to tell you all about this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people. It enables you to learn new skills, deepen those existing passions, and just get lost in your creativity. Some topics we've been really enjoying recently are things like how to grow a successful Etsy store, as well as how to tell an engaging story through our YouTube videos. One class we've been loving recently is starting a successful side hustle by Ali Abdal. As some of you might already know, Johnny and I only make YouTube videos part-time. So this course has been absolutely invaluable about helping us with things like time management, as well as where to focus our efforts for maximized results. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so they're always launching new premium classes and there's absolutely no ads. This helps you stay totally focused on what you want to learn and you can follow along to wherever your creativity takes you. So the first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial to Skillshare Premium so you can start exploring your creativity today. Supporting our sponsors helps support us continue making content for you. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring our video. Let's go see the final result. So, what do you think? We've mounted our custom HDP play button on an engraved plaque, and we've even used part of our recycled plastic beam from our last video to create a frame for it. We honestly couldn't be happier with this one, and we're kind of thinking that YouTube should make the Recycled Plastic Creator Award a real thing for anyone that hits 150K. 
but just think about how much plastic they could save if they did. Come on, Susan. And of course, we need to say an insanely big thank you to you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to us. When we first started our YouTube channel, a YouTube Creator Award seemed like such an impossibility. But thanks to all of you guys watching, we've made it here, and we are so, so proud of it. And as always, a very special mention goes to our wonderful patrons for their unbelievable level of support. We're actually going to be moving workshops soon, and it's the generous financial support that these guys give us that's going to be paying a big old chunk of our rent, which is ridiculous. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And who knows, maybe our Gold Creator Award won't be too far away. Fingers crossed. See you on the next one, guys. Cheers.